G'day there and welcome to another deep dive. My name is Daniel Anderson and today you are going to see how we can take your leave policy or any other type of document or large document that you have in your organisation and quickly create a, um, a list of FAQ, frequently asked questions, take that and then create a SharePoint page for a self-service um, scenario for the rest of your organization. So let's just dive in and get stuck into it. So we can see I'm in my OneDrive for Business here. Uh, we're going to be using Copilot for uh, the generation of these FAQs. So what you're gonna see is a workflow from start to finish. Now, what we do have inside of OneDrive for Business is we've got the ability for, um, for us to use Copilot. So if I jump into a folder here, what we can see is I can see that we've got a document here. Uh, I select the document and I've got this Copilot uh, um, link or option in the navigation or the ribbon or the command bar at the top here. Now, when I do that, I can do this I can create an FAQ from this document, I can summarize, or I can ask it a question. Now, this is just in OneDrive for Business though. What about SharePoint? So if I jump into a SharePoint site, and I've got this employee onboarding site open here, I've got a document library, it's got different types of documents in it. One of these documents, as we can see with our labels here, I've got policy, and the onboarding stage here is our first day. So I wanna take this leave policy though, because it's a rather large document. So if I open this up, we'll see that this has got all of our information about our leave policy. Now I wanna create on our intranet or on our employee onboarding um, portal or site, I wanna create an FAQ page so uh, people can come and find answers that uh, that they might ask. Or we as a, as an, as a group um, that handles employee onboarding might get asked a lot of questions um, over the phone or by Teams or by email. I wanna create a self-service type of uh, setup here. So how can we use Copilot right now to be able to automatically create these FAQs for us. Well, there's a little bit of a workaround here. So what we can do right now is we can use this add shortcut to OneDrive capability from our short uh, from our SharePoint library. We can see there that has now been added as a shortcut to my OneDrive for Business. Now, if I jump back into my files here, what we'll see is I can see that I've got this shortcut now. All right, so you can see I can open this up and this is the window into that SharePoint document library directly from my OneDrive for Business. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna quickly create a list of FAQs or at least the beginning of my uh, FAQ page or self-service um, solution. So I'm going to select the leave policy here. Remembering I'm in my OneDrive, this document actually lives inside of that document library in SharePoint. I can select this document, but because I'm in my OneDrive experience, I've got access to Copilot. So I can say, let's create our FAQs based on that document that I've selected. So it's grounded just in that document. So we're looking, it's combing through this, and you can see here automatically, I'm getting a uh, an FAQ list that I can now take the contents of, and I can, uh, and I can use that, right? So I'm gonna wait uh, for that to generate. I'm up to 17 questions, 18 questions, 20 questions, and it's just continuing on and creating a list of FAQs for me. So what we're now going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm gonna jump back over to my employee onboarding site and I'm gonna create a new page, all right? So I'm going to say new uh, page and I'm gonna call this leave policy FAQ. So I'll create a blank page here and let's create, I'm not gonna create all of these 20, but I'll create a couple. So I'm gonna change this, uh, the title area here to image and title, and I'm going to call this leave policy FAQs, all right, as the title. I'm just gonna leave, uh, actually, let, let's pop in a, let's pop in an image, all right? So let's choose an image, um, and because it's leave, let's look for a nice holiday destination. Um, let's go beach holiday, all right? So we'll search for, for something, and let's go for this one here. All right, so we'll pop that in as our as our background image. 
And we've got Santa there sitting on the beach. Very, very good. Now, let's delete this. And I am going to select the properties of this section. And I'm going to use collapsible sections for our FAQs. So I'm going to make this uh, collapsible. And let's have a look at, I'm going to go back to my FAQs here. I'm going to say, I'm going to use this one here. All right. So I've copied that. I'm just going to pop that into uh, Notepad just for now. So I'll just paste this in there. I've got my list of FAQs. And what I'll do is I'm just going to scroll up and I'll say, uh, I'll copy the question. I'll jump back over to my page. There's my question. And now what I can do in this section, I can add a text web part and I can have my list. And I'm going to put this as a bulleted list. All right, so we'll go bulleted list and we'll hit this. Um, let's select all of these, make these uh, bulleted. So we'll go, just go backspace. We'll just get all this formatted correctly. Uh, quickly go through this. And now because this is a collapsible section, we can now expand and contract these. All right, so I'm just gonna go to my section properties and I will say that it's collapsed by default. So I'm just gonna publish this and we can have a look at what that experience is like. All right, so here, I've now got this accordion type of scenario here. I'm just gonna jump back in. I'm gonna turn the comments off as well. And then what we're going to do is let's keep building this page out. So I'm gonna add another section here. I'll, I'll, what we might do, let's have a look at a two column section. All right, so again, I'm gonna to go to the properties of this. I'm going to make this collapsible. Now what we might do, let's have a look at a um, uh, breaking this up and we're gonna have alternating colors, all right? So the next question is going to be how much leave are employees entitled to? So I'm gonna add this as the question. I'm going to add a text web part here and I'm gonna pop the answer on the left-hand side. Actually, let's pop the answer on the right-hand side. So add a text, there's the answer. Uh, what we might do on the left-hand side here is just add a people. Uh, I'll go for, for, for more information. More information, please contact this person. And this is a great thing about using uh, sections uh, for FAQs is, what, is that we can add a lot more information uh, to, um, to the response here. So I'm gonna say, look, for for if you want more information about uh, how much we're entitled to, contact Daniel, okay? So we've got that there. Let's have a look at our section properties. I'm going to, and you can see that I've got this alignment here. So we can go top, we can go center, or we can go bottom. I'm gonna keep it as center. Um, and then I'll scroll down. We want to collapse this by default. You'll also notice that we can uh, change the, or we can add a divider line between the sections. And we can also change where the the chevron is, um, the icon also. So I'm going to choose uh, the right hand side for this one, just so we can have a look at the difference. So I'll hit republish now. So what we've now got is uh, two collapsible accordion sections like this, right? So I'm just going to go back into edit mode. I'm going to go back into this section. Let's turn the divider off on this one. And I'm going to jump into the top section and I'm going to go back in and I'm going to pop this on the right hand side so it, it is consistent. And now we've got the ability to continue to build on our FAQ page. So we've got this one, we've got this one. And the great thing is we can have different uh, configurations of our sections. So let's say uh, that in this section here, I want to change this from a two column layout. Let's change the section type to one third left and um, the we've got one third left. So we've got little uh, thin left hand side, larger right hand side. So what we might if we if we had more content, I'm just going to duplicate and copy all these. If we had lots more content and I'm going to republish this, then we can create that experience uh, where we've got a left and right section there like so. All right. So we can see that we've got 
that experience, all right? So moving back from the start, what we've done is we've created really, really quickly from our policy document, a list of our FAQs, and now we can take that, convert that, and create a nice engaging page for a, a self-service to, for, to allow users to come here and find the answers that they're looking for. So there we go, a deep dive, uh, another deep dive completed. Thanks for watching. I hope that brings you some value, spark some ideas, uh, about how you can structure your, your pages in an FAQ or accordion type of style, uh, but also being able to use Copilot out of OneDrive with your SharePoint documents as well, using that add shortcut to OneDrive functionality at a SharePoint. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next deep dive.